Welcome to the SAP Business One powered by SAP HANA service module demonstration. All the service module functionality we will show in this demonstration is based upon SAP Business One version 9.1. The demonstration scenarios we have chosen reflect common events faced by our customers on a daily basis. We will demonstrate these service scenarios using the SAP Business One United States and Puerto Rican localization and our demo database company, OEC Computers. In the following two role-based scenarios, we will review the following Business One service module functionality. Pervasive analytics dashboards and KPIs or key performance indicators, crystal dashboards, service call functionality, enterprise search, service contracts, standard service module reports, customer equipment cards. Through the desktop of Sophie Clogg, the lead customer service representative, CSR at OEC Computers, Specifically, we will see the following SAP Business One powered by SAP HANA service module capabilities, pervasive analytics and dashboards, customer equipment cards, service calls, service contracts, activities, and even enterprise search. In this scenario, we will watch as Sophie opens and records a service call from one of her customers and uses the core SAP Business One service transactions, tools, and integration capabilities our scenario begins at Sophie's SAP Business One desktop. In this scenario, we're logged on to SAP Business One as user Sophie Clogg. As a CSR, Sophie's primary responsibility is to respond to and resolve customer service calls that come into OEC service department via phone, web portal, and emails. Sophie has customized her SAP Business One desktop to include only those transactions and analytic widgets that are critical to her daily support activities. Sophie's Business One main menu only includes those service, business partner, and administration tasks that are required. On Sophie's desktop, she's included several delivered and custom analytics that keep her apprised of key metrics and statistics. She has included the delivered crystal dashboard, service call SAP HANA, as well as two custom KPI widgets that Sophie defined using the SAP Business One Pervasive Analytics tool. KPIs or key performance indicators are singular amounts, percentages, or counts that are taking place in SAP Business One that are important to the user or OEC as a whole. Sophie has created two custom KPIs on her desktop. The first one, My Open Service Calls, is a count of the current open service calls that have been assigned to Sophie. The second KPI she has on her desktop is called All Open Service Calls. It is a count of all open service calls at OEC at any one given time. The Crystal Dashboard Service Call SAP HANA is delivered with SAP Business One powered by SAP HANA and gives her an overview of all service calls open today, calls by queue, and call volumes over a period of time. Sophie is sitting in her cubicle and today, like most days, is responsible for answering the support line when it rings. The call is from Jane Smythe at Paso Enterprises. Jane says they have purchased server point 10,000 a while back and she wants to know if they can add some additional memory to this server. Sophie opens the service call record and enters Paso in the name field. When she tabs off, it fills in the customer information, the main contact, Jane Smythe, and their phone number, as well as a current service call number, an open status, and the date and time that the service call was opened. One of the things Sophie immediately wants to do is enter the subject field. And since Jane was asking about how to purchase additional memory, she enters that information into the subject field. Also note that this service call is currently assigned to Sophie. He has the ability to reassign the call to another user within OEC, either on the service or sales side, or place it in one of the four service queues that they have defined at OEC. Sophie also records some additional information about this service call, the fact that it was taken over the phone and that Jane has a question. Sophie knows that all servers sold at OEC are serialized items. So she wants to record a specific serial number for the server point 10,000. So she does a couple of things first. First, she enters the part number, S10,000, and it fills in the server point 10,000 description. Now, since Sophie knows that all servers sold at OEC computers are serialized, she wants to find out the specific serial number of the server point 10,000 that Jane has called about. To do this, she selects the serial number field 
and tabs off that field. The install base lists those specific servers, server point 10,000s, that OEC has sold PASO, and it lists them by serial numbers. It also lists some additional information about the delivery date, as well as the delivery document that that server was delivered on. Sophie asked Jane if she remembers when this server was purchased. Jane is pretty sure it was June of this year, and the only other thing that she can remember is that when she uh, got the server, she opened a service call with OEC. She needed some assistance installing it on their network. Sophie is pretty sure, based on the delivery date in the install base list, that it is the last S10,000 server on the list, but wants to double check. Sophie notes the serial number from the list of the install base and goes over to the enterprise search field, enters 07 and hits enter. In less than a second, the enterprise search returns one result for the string that she's looking for. So previews the results of the search. She can see it's for a service call number 388. It found that serial number she was looking for and it was for the item server point 10,000. She opens the service call by double clicking on the link and gets to the detail for this service call. She can see that it was made by Jane Smythe at Paso Enterprises and took place on June 20th of 2014, not long after the server was delivered. Sophie is positive this is the right serial number. So she closes the service call and closes the enterprise search window. From here, she selects the last serial number with the choose button, and it returns that serial back to the service call that she had opened. Now that Sophie has selected the right serial number, she selects the golden arrow next to the serial number field to review the detail of the customer equipment card. Sophie drills into the service contract for this serialized item. A customer equipment card is created every time a serialized item is sold within Business One and records the sale of that particular serial number and the customer and the location and other pertinent information. Sophie confirms with Jane that this server is still located and installed in El Paso, Texas, as the address tab shows, and Jane confirms that. Sophie also selects the service contracts tab and drills into the service contract number 228 from this tab. This service level response and resolution commitments they have made with PASO on this piece of equipment. In this case, the response time is four hours and the resolution time is eight hours. She can also look at the coverage tab to see when this item is covered. Also, any parts and travel related to this service call will be covered by this service contract. Sophie closes the service contract by hitting the cancel button as well as the customer equipment card and gets back to the service call. Since Jane is asking to purchase additional memory for the S10,000 server, she tells Jane that she needs to have their sales representative call about pricing. First thing that Sophie needs to do is look up their sales rep. So Sophie drills into the customer record for Paso Enterprises, and in the business partner master screen, she can see that Catherine Jones is their sales employee. Sophie tells Jane that she's going to have Catherine call her at 3 p.m. today to discuss the additional memory pricing. Sophie selects the activity tab on the service call screen and the activity button at the bottom of the screen to create a phone call activity. This is going to be a reminder to Catherine that they need to call Jane at 3 p.m. She records it as a phone call. It's a sales type. The subject is purchase. And rather than assigning it to herself, she's going to assign it to Catherine Jones, their salesperson. She's going to enter a remark. The other thing Sophie is going to do is click the reminder button and add the activity. This is going to notify Catherine, the sales representative, that a phone call has been assigned to her and a reminder will pop up about 15 minutes before 3 o'clock to remind Catherine that she needs to call Jane at Paso Enterprises about the additional memory. Adding this activity is now recorded as part of this service call, as we see here in the Activities tab. Since this is a sales call, Sophie goes back to the General tab and wants to update the call type as a sales call. Since what Jane is asking about is additional product information and the fact that Sophie has assigned this call to Catherine in the Sales Department, on the Resolution tab, she enters information about the steps she has taken and the fact that she's going to set this status depending, assuming that Catherine gives her the call at 3 p.m.
With that, she goes up to the call status and changes the status from open to pending. To complete this service call, Sophie hits the add button. In this demonstration scenario, we will follow Caroline Michi, the support manager at OEC Computers. In her role, she is responsible for monitoring all service department resources and activities that take place at OEC Computers. On a real-time basis, Caroline needs to monitor all queues and make sure her CSR workload is balanced. We will review the following SAP Business One powered by SAP HANA service functionality. Service dashboards, customized key performance indicators or KPIs, standard Business One service reporting capabilities, service call queues, and service contracts. In this demonstration, we will watch as Caroline reviews several analytic tools delivered in SAP Business One, like before our scenario begins at the user's SAP Business One desktop. As we start this scenario, we are logged on to SAP Business One for HANA with Caroline Mechie's user ID. Caroline has customized her desktop to include several dashboards and key performance indicators, or KPIs, to help her monitor those service events that are critical to the smooth running of the service group at OEC. Caroline has configured her desktop to include several custom KPIs and dashboard widgets, as well as the standard Service Call SAP HANA Crystal Dashboard. Caroline has used the Pervasive Analytics Design Tool to create the following KPIs. All open service calls, new calls this month KPI, open call percentage. This is a KPI that Caroline created that is a calculation that shows her the ratio of all open calls to those calls created during the month. That's above her target of 80%, which is why it appears in red. Caroline also uses the Pervasive Analytics Design Tool to create the following pervasive dashboard. The dashboard is called Service Call Count by Month. This shows Caroline the total open calls for each month. In the last four months, the volume of calls has been increasing, as we can see in this chart. This shows a large uptick, especially in the month of August. If we hover over each point, we can see the total calls for August matches the new calls for the month in this KPI. To get a multi-dimensional view of the overall service department workload, Caroline has also activated the service call SAP HANA Crystal Dashboard. This dashboard comes with SAP Business One for HANA, and Caroline has placed it on her desktop. This dashboard gives Caroline the following summary information of the service department. Incoming calls today. Those calls are broken down by the four queues that Caroline has defined for their service department. The status are calls to close, which is set at 43. Caroline can drill into the overdue category and see that 27 calls are overdue, their service level agreement. Caroline also has the ability to look at the call volume by queue over a period of time. And she can do so by the last seven days, four weeks, or the last six months. What she sees is not only that the printer queue has a significantly more volume than the rest of the queues, but there is a significant uptick in the last four weeks. She suspects that this is due to the summer sales promotion that OSC has been running on all their printer lines over the last couple of months. With an increase in printers sold, she also expects to see an increase in service calls. The other thing Carolyn would like to do is take a deeper dive into the bottom half of this dashboard. What she can also do, dive into the printer detail and from a workload perspective, as well as a call turnover. What she's most interested in is the employee workload that's shown here in the bottom left-hand corner. She can see that there are two service technicians or customer support representatives, Julie Green and Sophie Clogg, that are assigned to the printer queue. She can also see the calls that are associated with Sophie or assigned to Sophie and Julie, as well as the fact that there are over 12 calls that are not currently assigned. She needs to get to the bottom of this and she needs to figure out how she can get additional resources assigned to the printer issues that are happening in the service department. Caroline wants to dive deeper into the call volume for this queue. To find this detail, she will use the standard SAP Business One report called Service Call by Queue. This report will help her investigate the details. She opens the report by selecting the report from the Service menu, the Service Reports menu, Service call by queue. She selects the call status ellipse to make sure that she's only going to be looking at open service calls. She clicks OK to run the report. By looking at this report by queue, Caroline can immediately see that the printer queue has significantly more calls than the other three queues. It has 13 open calls that are currently unassigned. 
She can see individual details of each call, call ID, how long the call has been in the queue, the customer for that service call, as well as some information about what's on that service call, as well as the item that service call was created under. She can also drill into any one of these by clicking on the golden arrow to get more detail. To alleviate some of the backlog in the printer queue, Caroline wants to assign two additional CSRs to handle this spike in call volume for the printer queue. She uses the menu Administration, Setup, Service, and Queues to open the queue setup window. If Caroline double clicks on the printer queue definition, she sees that what she suspected, that Sophie and Julie were the only CSRs assigned to this printer queue. What she would like to do is assign two additional resources. Using the drop down arrow, she's going to assign Daniel No, who is a, and she's also going to include herself as a backup to this printer queue. She's going to click update, OK, and update again. And then now the printer queue is including two additional CSRs to handle the call volume. Now what will happen is service calls are assigned to the printer queue. Those additional resources, herself and Daniel, will be able to take those calls. To keep a closer eye on the printer queue volume at any point in time, Carolyn wants to add the custom KPI she has created to her desktop. This will help her monitor the current volume of open calls in the printer queue. From her desktop, she selects the pencil icon. To add a new widget, she selects the plus icon. This opens the Pervasive Analytics widget gallery, and she uses the search dialog to find her printer queue KPI, which she previously created. She enters the keyword printer. This filters the list to just one KPI called Open Printer Service Calls. She selects the plus sign under the KPI to add that tile. She uses the return arrow to return to her desktop. She sees the new KPI on her desktop and she hits the check icon takes her back to an active desktop, and she can see that the printer service call queue is now down to 10. Caroline notices the message and alerts window pop up on her desktop. Each time a new customer is added, Caroline receives this alert like this because she is the person responsible for adding a service contract for this new client. Caroline double clicks on the subject, new customer, please add service contract, to get more details. She can see that there's a message that says, please create new service contract with gold warranty template for C75003 Bayou Enterprises. She clicks on the golden arrow to drill into the detail of this business partner. She makes a copy of the name and hits cancel. From here, she goes to the main menu and opens the service, service contract transaction screen. She goes into add mode and she pastes the customer name into the name field. This brings up the actual customer code and the main contact, Mike Miller. Now the alert said that she needs to create this contract with the gold template. So she comes down to the template, clicks on the equal sign and brings up a list of contract templates that have been predefined by Caroline. And here's the gold customer template. She clicks choose. By selecting this template, it will consistently apply the service levels and coverages for this new customer. She reviews the service contract coverage from the template that were brought in. She can see that under this contract for Bayou Enterprises, any service that they have for their products will be covered from Monday through Saturday, during the weekday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., and on Saturdays 12 to 7 p.m. Also, if there are any parts or travel included with contract, this contract, those would be on OEC computers. She goes over to the status, includes approved. Now that she's approved the contract, one of the things Caroline would like to do is send the customer a copy of the newly created service contract for their records. So she hits the email button in the SAP Business One toolbar to start the email dialog. From the send messages window, she clicks the add recipient, selects the contact person tab, and she selects Mike Miller from Bayou Enterprise, who is the CEO. She says she would like to email Mike, and she needs to include a subject and a text of the email message.
things look good. So as you click send. During the previous two demonstration scenarios, we saw how SAP Business One 9.1, powered by SAP HANA, delivered powerful analytic tools and transactions to facilitate two key service department users in the efficient and integrated support of their customers' questions and issues. We watched as Sophie and Caroline of the OEC Service Department use SAP Business One to address the following service transactions and reports, service calls, service contracts, standard service module reports, customer equipment card, activities, and custom and delivered service management analytics. We saw how the power of SAP HANA analytics can be tailored and put to use by end users like Caroline and Sophie. Using SAP Business One pervasive analytic tool, they built their own custom dashboards and KPIs. They also leveraged the delivered SAP Crystal dashboard service call to manage their daily workloads. Contact your local SAP Business One partner to discuss all the SAP Business One service module features and reports we did not have time to review in this video.